Hello and welcome to Model Dads. Today we're going to be taking a look at and giving away a copy of Philip Baldwin's Hitler's Spy Plane Over Normandy 1944 published by Pen & Sword. Hitler's Spy Plane Over Normandy 1944 is a 179-page hardbound book tracing the development of the Arado AR-234 and the careers of two of the pilots who flew them, Horst Gotz and Erik Somner. In particular, Baldwin's recounts the photo reconnaissance mission undertaken over the Normandy coastline in August 1944, publishing for the first time the images from this mission. Translated from the French by Heather Williams, Hitler's spy plane opens the first of its eight chapters with Operation Lusty, the American acquisition of the Luftwaffe's most advanced technological innovations at the end of the war, including, amongst others, ME-262s, a Doblehof WFF-342 jet helicopter, and the eponymous Arado-234. Chapter 2 provides a very brief history of the Arado company, before introducing, in Chapter 3, Horst Gotz and Eric Somner, whose interviews and personal photographs enrich the publication. Having lost the Battle of Britain, Chapter 4 outlines the shift in Luftwaffe tactics to high-altitude bombing, recounting the encounter between Emmanuel Galitzin's Spitfire at the RAF Special Flight Squadron and Horst Gotz and Eric Somner's JU-86R. This sets the scene for the development of the Arado AR-234 from the first flight of the AR-234A0 on the 15th of June 1943 to the photo reconnaissance mission over the Allied bridgehead in Normandy from the 2nd of August 1944 and the final bombing missions in the last months of the war, most notably at Raymarken in 1945. Chapter 6 reviews the Juvincourt airfield, the largest Luftwaffe airfield in France, and the base from which Sumner and Horst, amongst others, were to take off between the 2nd and the 12th of August for their flights over the Normandy coastline. These reconnaissance sorties are recounted in detail in Chapters 7 and 8, where over 5,000 photographs were taken over 13 missions, of which only 30 remain accessible. 19 are published here with before and now photographs showing the remarkable detail recorded. Overall, despite its attention-grabbing title, Hitler's Spy Plane is a very readable translation supported by excellent artwork and photography. Whilst the author may make some inflated claims about the value of the intelligence gained, the pen picture painted of this aircraft, the men who flew them, and principally the photographs they took are the allure of this accessible publication. From the Wargamer's perspective, there's inspiration here to create the first and only high-altitude encounter of the Second World War, along with the Raymargen raids, and perhaps an interdiction exercise aimed at downing one of these high-value aircraft whilst under escort prior to landing. The colour plate should also provide ample motivation for painting. Fancy getting your hands on a copy? Well, be sure to swing by the blog to enter our free draw to win this review copy of Hit the Spy Plane of Normandy 1944. Good luck!